solving one and two step equations. When we're solving one and two step equations, we just have to remember our opposites and we work from furthest away from the x in towards close to the x, outside in, kind of reverse order of operations. So this first one, we have x minus 8 equals 1. So the opposite of minus 8 is plus 8. So I'm going to add 8 to both sides of the equal sign. That's going to cancel that out, leaving me with x equals 1 plus 8 is 9. So that is your final answer. Next one, we have negative 4x equals negative 28. So on this one, when they are written right next to each other, it means we are multiplying negative 4 times x. So to get rid of multiply, you have to divide. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 4. So when I divide by negative 4, that's going to cancel that out to 1. So I'm just going to have x equals negative 28 divided by negative 4. So we have a double negative. So double negative is going to make it positive. And then 28 divided by 4 is 7. So that is your final answer. Next, we have a word problem. So we have to write an equation and then solve the equation. So the first thing we have here is Lisa is baking bread. The recipe calls for 10 cups of flour. She has already put in 6 cups. How many more cups does she need to put in? Okay, so we need a total of 10 cups. And we have already put 6 cups in. So 6 plus whatever's left is going to be equal to 10. So here's my equation, and then to solve it, I'm going to subtract 6, because the opposite of plus 6 is minus 6 from both sides. So x equals 4. So Lisa needs 4 more cups of flour. And that would be your final answer. Now we're going to solve a couple two-step equations here instead of just one step. So here is where it's important to make sure we're careful about working outside in. So I'm going to rewrite this to make it look a little more understandable. Where we have x divided by 3 plus 2 equals 5. Okay, so furthest thing away from the x on that side of the equal sign is the 2 here. So I need to get rid of the 2. So plus 2, the opposite of plus 2, is minus 2. Minus 2 from both sides, leaving me with x over 3 equals 5 minus 2 is 3. Now the next step would be to multiply both sides by 3, because it's x divided by 3. So multiply by 3, and I get x equals 3 times 3 is 9. Next one, we have negative 3p minus 2 equals negative 29. So what I have to do is get rid of the, the uh, minus 2 first. So to get rid of minus 2, I'm going to do the opposite of minus, which is plus 2, plus 2. So I have negative 3p equals negative 29 plus 2 is a negative 27. Then the next step would be to divide to get rid of the multiplying here. And so divide by negative 3, both sides. Again, we have a double negative here, which is going to change that to a positive. So I have p. equals uh, positive 27 divided by 3, which is 9. And that is your final answer. And the last example here, another word problem. There are 400 students who went on a field trip. Five buses were filled completely, and 25 students had to travel in vans. How many students were on each bus? So the first thing is to write an equation. So 400 students total went on the trip. And this was between buses and vans. 
So to figure out how many people were on the vans, it says that, or, there were five buses. So to figure out how many people were on the buses, there were five buses and so many people on each bus. And then there were another 25 students who had to ride in the vans. So 5P plus 25 equals 400. Now I'm going to solve this. So I'm going to do the opposite of plus 25, which is minus 25, which will give me 375 equals 5P. Then I have to divide by 5 to get rid of the, the 5 and get the P by itself. And that will give me P equals 75. So what this means is um, 75 students were on each bus. So that would be your final answer. So those are your notes for so solving one and two step equations. Make sure you do some practice problems. Make sure you can set up the equation if it's a word problem. And make sure you work carefully on how to solve them. And then you should be ready for your quiz.